Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well today. Hope you're having a good day. So we're having a Windows 11 video today. Uh, one of the things that I like to do is make my uh, application installation easier, making my development machine build easier. And one of the ways I found to do it is a new thing that Windows or Microsoft has put out called Winget, W-I-N-G-E-T. It is a package manager. And there's a lot of package managers out there for software engineers, DevOps engineers, um, anybody that deals with computer software knows about package managers. You have the NPM, NuGet, all these others. But if you want to build your computer with a package manager, this is the way to go, I think, how to do it. So Winget, let me read off what Microsoft has uh, put out here. Winget is a powerful package manager that allows you to easily install and manage software on your Windows 11 PC. So this will work on Windows 10. You have to have several different steps. Winget is actually built into the latest version of Windows 11. So I tell you what, let's get started. I'm going to go down here on my Windows 11 desktop and then make sure that you are up to date with your Windows 11. I'll show you how to find that out. Uh, you can actually type in CMD. It gives you a command prompt and type WinVer. W-I-N-V-E-R. This will tell you what version of Windows you have. And as you can see, I'm at 22H2. The build is 22621.1702. Very much up to date. All right. So make sure Windows 11 is up to date. You've got everything going. We need to make sure you have Terminal installed. So if you type in search, go Terminal. And this is one of the, the better tools that Microsoft has made is you can change up what application you have running in it. Uh, I, I like using PowerShell. I use PowerShell a lot where, where I work. So now that we have terminal, we will type here, we'll go W-I-N-G-E-T. We'll make sure it's installed. Winget, there you go. If you can get the help um, parameters, you know it's installed. It's the Windows Package Manager, and what I have installed is 1.4.10173. If you don't have this, you can open up your web browser, and links for all this be in the description. Type in Windows Package Manager, Winget, GitHub. The first link more than likely will take you to the GitHub page where you can download the installer. So I did that and here I have 1.410173. This is the latest version for May 2023. I'm going to scroll all the way down at the bottom. And what they have, they have an MSIX bundle right here. I will put a link to this in the description. You download that, it's 14 and a half megs. Double click it, it will install it on your machine. Easy peasy. All right, so now, let me get rid of this. Let me make this a little bigger so you can see it. All right, hopefully y'all can see that. All right, so here we are in the Windows terminal. We're gonna type Winget. And one of my favorite applications that I install is Notepad++. It is a text editor for Windows. It's hard to beat. So we'll type note, um, Winget install Notepad++. All right, now it will go out and download it. All you have to do is hit yes. It installed it that quick. I didn't have to go double click, find the right installer, nothing. It, it picked the right one. So if I click Notepad++, there it is. That is cool stuff right there. 
another one that you'll um if you're a software developer or devops you will type uh whoop, make it winget install microsoft dot visual studio code hit enter and it will get the latest version for you and it will go ahead and install it and it generally takes less than a minute just to do this the command line is scary for a lot of people but once you get the hang of it 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 is very nice see there it is it's installed so now if i go here and here my computer's not a barn burner plus i'm recording my screen so and there is vs code it's just that quick now once you get this done you'll want to make sure that there's no upgrades or updates so you'll type winget upgrade and there are no updates now if you want to uninstall one of these applications all you do is type winget uninstall that quick i did not speed that up that was about seven seconds that is pretty cool one of the other things you can do if you don't know the actual name of the application you can type winget search let's say you're wanting uh power toys which is another windows or microsoft application most of the microsoft applications start off microsoft dot and then we'll type power toys hit enter and it found it and it's a uh, power toys preview so what we'll do we'll type winget install microsoft dot power toys And I will put a list out there. All right, it's already installed. Um, I will put a list of uh, packages, anything in the Microsoft Store, just about. You can get this way, and you don't have to go and do all the clicking and everything. You just type it and hit go, and it, it puts it in there. So the search feature works pretty good. And uh, I will have all the instructions and everything in the description as well. I'm going to really list this one out. So. There are all kinds, you know, you can, uh, let's say you work in databases. So you want winget install SSMS. This is the SQL Server Management Studio. And it will go out and get it. Now this one's 628 megs. So it takes just a little bit to, to install it, but you don't have to go if if you're like me and you've done this before you have to really find where the management studio is and download it and everything this does it for you so it's pretty cool so with this tool and if you know all your applications your visual studios your android studio uh everything that you use for software development or devops engineers use you can build your machine in just a few hours whereas it would take several days to do it you know being able to install your softwares i mean anything to speed up your time where you're not sitting here clicking and installing all day long uh once you get this done you'll have a packages.json file that you can back up and if your machine ever dies you can use it to actually put all your software back on in one script. I mean, now that's a pretty cool deal. And I'll show that next time on the next video. But this one uh, works really well. I've used it several times now. You can use it on Windows 10, but you have to have 
um, a few more updates and it's a little harder to get going, but I ha I've used it on that machine behind us. That's Windows 10 back there. But yeah, and as you can see, it's installing SQL Server Management Studio just that quick. Now just imagine if I had a fast machine. I wish I had a fast machine. I've got a fast Macintosh, but I don't have a fast Windows machine. So there you have it, Winget, W-I-N-G-E-T, the package manager that's built into Windows 11. If you got any questions, any comments, if you have used it before, let me know. Uh, good or bad, doesn't matter. I just want to know if you've used it. So anyway, anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to be notified. And if you're over on Rumble, do the same thing. But anyway, I hope everybody gets something out of this. Um, get your machine built, get to work, get to slinging that code. That's all I can tell you. But anyway, I hope y'all have had a great day so far and a great week. But like I always say, until the next video, thanks for watching.